SpaceX has once more accomplished the towering feat of assembling its most recent Starship prototype on October 16, 2023. This remarkable engineering endeavor unfolded at the sprawling Starbase facility situated along the picturesque Gulf Coast of South Texas. This critical milestone serves as a pivotal prelude to Starship's eagerly anticipated second test flight, an event that SpaceX is diligently preparing for and aiming to conduct in the near future. But SpaceX's leadership is making its way to Capitol Hill this Wednesday, where they aim to advocate for more streamlined regulatory approval processes from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. Their objective is to expedite the issuance of launch licenses for both Starship test flights and routine Falcon 9 rocket missions. In anticipation of a hearing before the U.S. Senate Subcommittee on Space and Science, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, FWS, now that their regulatory approval process for the second Starship test flight may extend until spring 2024. This delay follows the receipt of a final biological assessment from the FAA on October 5th, which the FWS now has 30 days to review. This assessment came about after the FAA requested the reinitiation of Endangered Species Act consultation in August. Under Section 7 of the Endangered Species Act, Reinitiation of formal consultation is mandatory when a project and its impacts undergo significant changes. When the previous take issued exceeds its limit, new information on listed species surfaces or when new species are listed. The spokesperson from the FWS explained, Reinitiation, involving major changes in effects analysis or changes in the FWS biological opinion, are addressed fully in a new consultation. For SpaceX's reinitiation with the FAA, we are considering the operation of a water deluge system. This new deluge system is among a list of 63 corrective actions created following SpaceX's investigation into the mishap during the first integrated flight test on April 20th, 2023. It has been used several times, including in static fire tests of Booster 9 and Ship 25, both of which are slated for SpaceX's upcoming missions. SpaceX had initially reported that Starship was fully stacked and that the team was preparing for a launch rehearsal. However, the issuance of the launch license still appears to be some distance away. Following the 30-day review of the final biological assessment by the FAA, the FWS has 135 days to issue an amended biological opinion. This period includes a formal consultation phase, which could last up to 90 days, and a 45-day period for crafting the biological opinion on the actions they will take upon receiving the FWS amended biological opinion. But a response is pending. Political pressure is mounting for SpaceX, as Bill Gerstenmaier, the company's vice president of build and flight reliability, is set to testify before the Senate Subcommittee on Space and Science. The focus of the panel is U.S. commercial human space activities, and it will feature representatives from Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, National Aerospace Solution, and CS Consulting. Discussions will encompass a wide range of topics, from suborbital flights to lunar surface habitats. For SpaceX and the Starship program, the success of the Human Landing System, HLS, for the Artemis III and Artemis IV missions for NASA is of paramount importance. To gain NASA's authorization for its astronauts to fly aboard Starship, several demonstration flights are required, including ship-to-ship -ship refueling and an uncrewed lunar landing. A senior SpaceX official, in an interview with Ars Technica, emphasized the critical nature of expediting licensing for Starship within the framework of the Artemis program. They expressed concern about the current approval pace, noting that a year or more turnaround would be detrimental to the program's objectives, especially given the need for a higher cadence of flights moving forward. As SpaceX pushes forward with its ambitions to play a pivotal role in NASA's Artemis program, the need for efficient regulatory approval becomes increasingly urgent. The Starship program's role as the Human Landing System, HLS, for NASA's lunar missions signifies a crucial milestone in the broader goals of returning humans to the moon and advancing our understanding of deep space exploration. In recent years, SpaceX has demonstrated remarkable advancements in rocket technology and space travel, marking a new era of commercial spaceflight. 
However, as they look to integrate these innovations into government space programs, they encounter the complexities of aligning commercial and regulatory interests. SpaceX's vision is to achieve a higher cadence of flights, with the goal of launching missions at a pace of six to eight months. This rapid turnaround is essential not only for the success of the Artemis program, but also for maintaining momentum in space exploration. The delays stemming from regulatory approvals risk undermining this goal. The company's commitment to expedite the licensing process highlights the need for a harmonious relationship between government agencies, private space companies, and other stakeholders. It underscores the evolving landscape of space exploration, where the private sector is playing an increasingly vital role in advancing our understanding of the cosmos. In this context, the testimony of Bill Gerstenmaier, SpaceX's Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability, before the Senate Subcommittee on Space and Science, carries significant weight. This discussion extends far beyond SpaceX. It encapsulates the broader dialogue on how to integrate private industry into government space programs seamlessly and efficiently. While the timeline for regulatory approval remains uncertain, the broader mission of SpaceX and other private space companies is clear. To drive human space exploration forward, both in terms of scientific discovery and commercial opportunities. Finding a way to streamline the regulatory process is vital in ensuring that we continue to reach for the stars while making our endeavors more practical and sustainable. As SpaceX strives to navigate this intricate path, the world will be watching closely to see how the private and public sectors can work together more effectively to fulfill our shared ambitions of exploring the final frontier. In the end, it's not only SpaceX, but humanity's journey into the cosmos that is at stake.